So I just want to show software workflows and it didn't really hit me till the other day of this is a big deal and it's a big deal for a lot of the customers and people I work with and the people who I meet and talk about how to optimize their business workflows because no matter what I deliver to them, it's sometimes hard for them to get anything extra done in any end without me. But when you hand them softer with these workflows in software, you can see that moment where their users are like, hey, I need to tweak this or optimize this workflow, and they just go do it. And that's that's a big win. That's the that's one of these things that we're progressing to, not just with AI, but with these no-code tools, is we're putting the we're giving the person with the idea, the business needs, the tools they need to just make it happen without having to go talk to a developer or make a big project and budget, okay? And so when I saw that and I was working with a customer the other day or a week ago saying, hey, here's your form, you need to do this, go get in and in, we'll just do that. And they're like, they're just like, yeah, whatever. But then when I gave them this, they were like, okay, I get it. And they were willing to just go in there and start doing things with those workflows. None of this stuff is perfectly easy, but it's becoming a lot more approachable by just normal, like the people doing the work, the people who need to get their work done. And again, I'll show in a moment, we're gonna make a workflow, we're gonna compare it to the NADM, we're gonna show where it fits in for real. But in the end, it's just, yeah, this is a big deal for NADM. And I'll explain why after the after we just go through a workflow. So let's look at one really quick. All right, so let's look at this workflow here. This is very common, I just, this is real. Like I just had this happen and I'm redoing it here. But when a project is made, the person can upload an image to that project. But it's just, hey, images, people just upload whatever they find and that's it. But in this case, when I upload this, I want to make sure the image size is not so bad that it slows everything down. In the past, I went and built something in N8N and that was fine. And again, I tried to show the customer, hey, look at you just added a form. When the form is created, you can go to N8N and trigger. But it was just like, they just got lost. I didn't even say loss, it's intimidating. And these aren't stupid people. This isn't about end users. It's about just clicking and, and what makes sense. And so here I am in N8N, I made a softer trigger. I did an HTTP, yeah, that's hard. But no matter what, that's gonna be hard. And we'll give that one a whatever, a check. But we're gonna come back and see that I had to update the record. But the user has to go to N8N, know where it is, go log in, go find it, go create the workflow, go find the particular triggers and things they need in the many, which is great to have many, but they don't need a lot of them. So here they are, we've done our NNN and it does the same thing. But now I want to give it to a user. So here we have workflows and they're just like, hey, I'm in softer, I go to the back end, I already know this area, I create a workflow, I grab my table, and then I say, okay, I want to do something here. Now there's many options I have, I'm going to look at the API one. This is still a little tricky. This isn't perfect. Maybe the AI would have done it. But look at how more simple this is for them. And it's because there's less, but I think those less are going to be more fine-tuned for what normal users will need. When I say normal, it's people in the day-to-day -day work who are trying to get a job done. We've built a UI for them in software, and they just need to optimize something. And they don't need to wait for us or call us or make a list of things, but they want to optimize something now to make their day-to-day -day job better, easier, more efficient. And I just realized putting this in people's hands is amazing because... A lot of what we're solving is the debt that came from the inefficiencies of workflows that has not kept up with workload. So people are just falling behind. Hey, I want to share Rise. This is an ad. Basically, it's software I use every day. I leave it running. It tracks the work I'm working on. As a freelancer, I have multiple clients. I can't just turn on timers because I'm jumping from one thing to another. It's just impossible. It's just tracking what I'm doing on my computer. That's okay. I've used software like this for eons, for 20 plus years. Now I'm glad to find a new solution that's thinking AI, thinking advanced ideas like this. I can integrate it with clients and projects and it has an API, which we'll look at in a moment. So I can really make it a part of my invoicing system in the bigger picture. Here I can even say, hey, let's kick out some webhooks and now I'm sending it to N8N and then I could have N8N call back to it. It's endless what I could do to automate the flows here. It connects to my Google Calendar and even it even opens up a schedule when I have a meeting. So I come over and I hear a buzz on one computer and I know it's time for a meeting over there. Great product. There's a code below for to help support the channel. All right, thank you very much. Give it a try. Oh, by the way, I really like the music feature. I play it a lot in the background. So I really think N8N just missed it. And I think Softer just scored a big one. And I think they have something N8N does not have and I don't see on their roadmap is a complete solution with UI, 
deliverable apps that are easy to deploy and build and modify built into the workflows. So the connecting those are great. Now, does this mean I don't need N8N anymore? Of course not, because like I have customers where we're just doing lots of back-end, I don't want to say complex, but tedious ongoing processes that have nothing to do with that particular level of interaction. So check in an email box a thousand times a day to see what emails they need to process and put somewhere else. Taking in files that then has to be parsed and turned into data. You see some of it in that UI, but there's a certain level where, sure, I'll keep using N8M, but this was a big deal. And I think people were saying, aging kid killed N8M. I'm like, this was really a good reminder of there's a lot more going on here, and they really hit it. Great work. I'm excited about software workflows. I hope this kind of gives you a sense of what's there. There's a lot more to learn, a lot more to do there, but it's all, I'll have more videos on it. All right, thank you. Oh, make sure to join, subscribe, share. If you join the channel, you'll get, I'll do some long deep dives where you can actually chat with me and get help. We'll be doing, of course, N8N still, but also other things as well. And then, of course, I have a sub stack that will be more of where I do the share any workflows that I have or share any more details that might help that the videos can't cover. All right. Thank you.